Howdy folks, Dave of Chaos Crafting here. So, one of my players got me a gift. Maybe a bribe. It's a sky coach made by WizKids. One of these floating boat slash spaceship sort of things. Let's open it up and get it painted. I don't want this to sit in my pile of shame. Contains the sky coach, gangplank, ladder, cool, four sore sleds. What the heck is a sore sled? Whatever. Anyway. Oh, primed. This really got my attention. Ready to paint out of the box. My first impression of this miniature coming out of the box. It's, it's quality. Uh, I'm sure this was not inexpensive. I will enjoy this gift. I see that it is primed. There are no excessive flash lines. Legitimately, we can paint this right now. Here's the source leads in a bag. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. Oh, and the base. Interesting, it slides on. Well, that gives it, that makes it sturdy. That's, that's positive. These little things. Oh, this is the stands for the source leads. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use these. These are gonna go into my bits box. Gangplank, oh, excuse me, ladder. And the big base goes in the bottom. I don't like the deck though. It's a piece of paper. Yeah, this, this piece of paper I'll have to get rid of. We'll make a, a wooden deck. Pardon me as I struggle with getting these out of the box. Sails, oh, great texture. Gangplank, nice. This. No, it doesn't go there. You know, this is this is not easy. Let me cut here. Uh, yeah, I just lost one. Let me cut here, and I'll show you the finished product all assembled. Alrighty, painting. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to base this in a good dark charred brown. Uh, I use a uh, airbrush thinner to uh, thin the paint to give it a good flow. The ratio really depends on the paint you're using, how thick it is. But I'm typically doing like one drop of thinner to three or four drops of paint. And that thins it out, lets it flow, but it doesn't make the paint too thin. I'm also just using a cheap craft brush. There's a lot of texture on this miniature and I don't want to ruin a quality brush. I really wish I had prepped this kit to be assembled after I painted it because trying to get into all the nooks and crannies on this model with the sails and fins attached is very difficult and time consuming. Had I been thinking and not so excited, I would have gone ahead and pinned the sails and the fins so I could paint them separately and assemble it afterwards. With the base brown done, I'm gonna move on to a heavy brown for the prow and the railings. This is gonna be the first layer in a non-metallic metallic application. 
quick note on painting quality. Uh, I'm going to paint this to tabletop standards. And by that, I mean I'm going to do a little bit of ink, a little bit of highlighting, but I'm not gonna go crazy. This is gonna be used, it's going to be beat up, it's gonna be chipped. I'm not going to spend 50 hours painting this. I'd like to get it done in a weekend. Next, we're gonna use a heavy gold brown to start a highlight dry brush on the first layer brown. Okay, I had to put the base on. I was realizing if I kept painting, I would never get this base on. The, the, the fins are in the way. I would have to apply glue. Uh, I should have thought the base part through a little better. But again, I was super excited to get this project started. This was by far the most time consuming part of painting this ship, doing all of the ropes. And oh please, if someone has a time machine, go back and tell me not to assemble this thing. That just added so much more time as I tried to work around in odd angles to get all these ropes painted.
with the sails dry, it's time to do a umber wash. Again, I'm gonna lighten this up a little bit with some thinner, just to give it better flow. And I'm doing about a six to one ratio. One drop thinner, six drops wash. And with that, this project is done. It's not the most in-depth paint job, but it's definitely good enough for the tabletop. I went ahead and created the uh, deck uh, off camera. I didn't want this video to get run too long. I went ahead and sealed everything with a nice coat of varnish so that uh, it'll help with playability a little bit of longevity in the games and pizza fingers. With that, I really hope you enjoyed this. If you liked it, go ahead and subscribe. Let me know, drop me a comment. Talk to you later.